Hey guys, welcome to another Tab Archival footage video. While doing some research in the US National Archives' online catalogue, I came across some very interesting video composed of old footage from a couple of US Army Ordnance demonstrations. So I thought we'd take this opportunity to take a look at some very big guns. First up, we have a US built copy of the French 305mm gun, which according to the original footage notes, was a sliding mount for a gun firing a 150 pound projectile. I also found some contemporary images of the gun being built at the US Watertown Arsenal in Massachusetts. These photographs describe the gun as the model 1919. It may be the only example built by the US. Schneider built eight of these guns for France during the war. Next we have a 12 inch M1895 gun mounted on an M1918 railway carriage which was based on the French Batignol mount that could traverse 360 degrees. Originally designed as a coastal defence gun, here's a photograph taken in 1918 of the gun firing mounted on its original disappearing mount. The M1895 had long been used as a coastal defence gun, and with the US entry into the war, surplus or unnecessary coastal guns were remounted as railway guns. Twelve were mounted, however none reached France before the end of the war. The 14-inch railway guns were the only big US guns to see action during the war, taking spare US Navy 14-inch Mark IV naval guns, which had been mounted in the New Mexico and Tennessee class battleships, and mounting them on carriages built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. These massive guns had a range of up to 25 miles, and once in position the guns had to have a recoil pit dug beneath the carriage to allow space for the guns to recoil when the gun was aimed at a high elevation. Five Mark I guns made it to France, operating as single-gun batteries manned by US Navy sailors. The guns fired an impressive total of 782 shells during their time on the Western Front, with Battery No. 4 firing its last shell at 10.57am on the 11th of November 1918. This photograph supposedly shows the damage caused by a 14-inch shell on rail infrastructure behind the German lines. Unlike the Mark I guns that made it to France, in this footage we can see the gun without an armoured gun house, with the gunners working out in the open. Finally we have the truly massive 16 inch M1919 coastal gun, designed for the Army Coast Artillery Corps. It was designed to defend the US's major coastal ports. The 16 inch gun could throw a 2,340 pound shell up to 28 miles. In this footage we can see the gun mounted on an M1919 barbette carriage, which could be elevated up to 65 degrees. In the second piece of footage, which dates from between 1929 and 1930, we see the gun fired again with dozens of West Point cadets gathered eagerly to see the gun in action. The 16 inch guns remained in service throughout World War II until they were decommissioned in the late 1940s. I hope you enjoyed this short video looking at some of the biggest artillery pieces in the US arsenal during the first half of the 20th century. It was a great surprise to find this very rare footage of these huge guns in action. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please consider supporting us over on Patreon. Your support is what helps keep the project going. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Bonus round. Can you guess what this is? Leave a guess in the comments and the answer will be in the description box below.